Don't forget. I'm also just a girl. tuning in to another one of my videos if you are new my name is just here bna do not forget to subscribe we are almost at 100k i am about to go ahead and apply this face mask while i talk to you guys about what today's video entails i'm all about self-care on my channel and usually that consists of hair lashes makeup i am still going to include some nail care in today's video because babe I need it but I just wanted to expand a little bit give y'all a different vibe and a different form of content so I'm going to be including some other things in today's self-care video because we are showing up for ourselves in 2024 in every way possible all right so I wanted to start off today's video with some skincare my acne first started being a problem when I got on birth control which was my first year of college and birth control gave me acne I know that there's birth control that actually regulates your skin and your acne, but back then, I didn't know nothing about that. I was just like, I don't want no babies and I don't want to get fat. That was the only thing that I was concerned about. I just didn't want to gain weight and I wasn't trying to be nobody's baby mama. I knew that my acne was hormonal. I'm like, okay, every time I come on my cycle, it gets really, really bad. It's always in a specific area on my face. But for those who don't know, I eat well. I only drink water. I don't touch soda. The only type of acidic thing I drink is kombucha. I'm, I've am i been making sure that my gut health is on point. Like, why do I still have acne? It's still hormone, so we have to get this nipped in the bud. And if you don't know, this mask is really, really good at unclogging your pores. And I have a lot of clogged pores along my chin, my cheek, and my forehead. I be having some black case on my nose, girl, it's real bad. But now that we have that, I'm going to put on some eye patches as well. These are the ones I'm going to use. They are the faded ones from Topical. But girl, I need all the help I can get because I didn't get any sleep last night at all. But back to what I was saying, guess what I did? To get my skin together, I finally went to a dermatologist. And she prescribed me on some things that have already been helping my skin. I can already tell the difference. So yeah, I am already a happy camper because y'all, if my skin not right, I'm not right. I don't want to film. I don't want to get on the phone. I don't want to talk on FaceTime. I don't even want to jump on the team's call to do my actual work at my actual job. Like, my skin will really turn my smile upside down. So yeah, my dermatologist ended up prescribing me with two different things. One is a topical like treatment ointment to go on your face. It's called Tretinoin. I'm going to get into this a little bit later when I do my nighttime routine. But she also gave me a pill to take every morning, which is called Spiralactone or something like that. Girl, I don't know how to pronounce it. And it has already been helping my skin out tremendously. The one thing I hate about it though is it makes your skin extremely dry so i've been like peeling around my nose but yeah this is your sign y'all to go see a dermatologist if you can afford it if you have health insurance and you'll be covered and your copay won't be crazy if you have been experiencing acne for a long duration of time let's go check it out let's go see this tea because i actually don't believe that i allowed myself to experience that for so long knowing that there were solutions to the problem Something I really want to focus on in 2024 is just opening my eyes to things that I like and dislike about myself and fixing them if I'm able to do so. When I walk into 2025, they want to be the baddest be stepping like so okay you guys comment down below if you want to receive updates on my skincare journey with these new prescribed products right now i only have a little bit of acne acne but last week it was horrible so it's really already making a really really big difference and i'm so excited but yeah these are my favorite products for moisture um la roche pose love them down this is just a really good gentle thick moisturizer it's really good for sensitive skin and this 
sunscreen let me tell y'all love her down make sure you're using a lot of sunscreen especially if you are going out and about I'm about to leave the house today but girl this sunscreen that's supposed to be made for us is a black girl sunscreen she broke me out real bad so yeah that is basically my in-depth morning routine girl my boys was tea <laughs> I do not do that mask every morning, nor do I do the eye mask every morning, but that moisture combo is my everyday routine. So yeah, that wraps up our morning skincare. Okay, you guys, we are getting ready for the gym, but first things first, let's get into this pony growth. What? Do you see the light? Do you see, do you see the fullness? Y'all, my ponytail ain't never touched the back of my the back of my back. Like my ponytail right now is touching the back of my back. Now my neck, my back. Get into it. But anyways, we are getting ready for the gym. Okay. I know today's session is going to be amazing because I am putting on my favorite workout outfit. You feel me? I don't know why the girlies on TikTok call this the BBL jacket, but I got mine from Amazon. And when I tell you. It's my favorite thing to wear, regardless if I'm going to the gym or not. I love it. As well as these um, leggings, girl. I don't know if I'm in the camera. But these leggings are so soft. They come all the way over my tummy, which is, I really like it because my midsection is, she's my problem area, girl. And it just really keeps you, like, sucked in and smoothed out. Can you see, girl? I love it. It has the um the thumb holes. My hair is growing so much. Ah. Okay, so anyways, my goal for 2024 is just to move my body every single day, regardless if I am working out at the gym, I'm doing a little at home situation, um, stretching my body. Ugh, it's so important. And I've honestly been feeling a great difference since doing so as well. I don't feel as stiff, and I don't know if y'all know, but I work from home. I don't have to get up and go nowhere. And there have definitely been days where I would just either sit at my desk, in my bed, or on my couch and don't get no movement in. And that's not good. So what I've been trying to do is at least walk 30 minutes a day. Or I'll do a really intense workout three to four times a week. So now that we are all dressed, looking good, ready to go, I'm about to put y'all on to what i've been using for my little pre-workout okay because i don't think i've seen a lot of people use what i use these are the vitamins that i've been taking just a regular multivitamin for women and then a zinc pill because oh my god i can get sick a lot um i take that in a little cup in combination with my spirulactone or however you say it and my birth control um and then this is my pre-workout it's the bloom pre-workout in watermelon it actually tastes really really good it does have caffeine but it's green tea caffeinated so it's supposed to be natural for you and it does work sometimes i take this too much and i can't go to sleep <laughs> so i don't take it every time i work out but i haven't taken it in a while so i am going to take it today and when i want to feel fancy i put it in a little glassy glass when I don't feel like being fancy, baby, I'm putting it in a water bottle and I'm shaking her up. Yep, I fill her up about halfway. And I take my little frother. This is why you only want to do it halfway. And I like to take her before I start working out. I've realized that if I'm taking it as I'm working out, I don't really feel the effects until later on. And I don't want that. So, cheers. Mm. It tastes really good, so it tastes like jolly right here. But yeah, I'm gonna finish drinking this and then we are gonna head to my apartment's gym. Okay, you guys, so I am putting you guys on to my current gym routine. I always start with a little bit of cardio. I walk on an incline of at least seven. So we getting on that hill, girl, and we are walking for at least 30 minutes. Um, I like to do this just to start off as a warm up to get my body flowing so we can shed off a little bit of this effect, okay? 
Then I like to follow that up with hip thrusts. I'm trying to get the glute gains, okay? I need a dump truck. And I am new to hip thrust. Everything that I'm doing in this video, I'm new to. So if my form is off, it's okay. I will get better with practice. But um, the hip thrust machine is very heavy. <laughs> so I start off with no weights. I do four sets of 12 reps. And then I add on a 10 pound weight just so it can be a little heavier. Um, and after I do each set, I do a pulse or a hold at the end, if you will, just so my glutes can really, really be engaged. So after my hip thrust, I kind of go into a circuit of doing some, I think they're called barbell rows. If you are a beginner, I highly recommend doing the movements without the weight and then incorporating the weight. So the barbell rows are targeting my upper back because girl, that bra fat gotta go. And then the RDLs are glute focused. Um, if you want the dumpiest truck ever, girl, do some weighted RDLs. And I'm using a 30 pound barbell. So then I'll follow those up with some high knees with a 10 pound ball so my arms can be engaged as well. This really just activates my core. And then I go into what I call all around the world. This really keeps my core engaged. I feel like my whole entire stomach is super tight when I'm doing this exercise and it's really easy to do. And I will try my best to do those four exercises for four times until failure. So I don't count my reps. I just go as long as I possibly can. I think in the end, you're going to see me throw in some arm curls just because I wanted to do a little something extra. I don't know. But yeah, you guys, for the most part, this is my current gym routine. Nothing too crazy, but she's going to give me a lot of progress. <laughs> So we are back home. We are all showered after the gym. I had a really good session and I'm just excited to be, you know, focusing on different target areas on my body because prior to that I had a, it was a, it was a cool little routine, but it was getting too easy for me. I was like up in my weights like crazy. Um, I think it's on the lat row machine. I was able to do like 50 pounds versus when I first started out, I was putting no weight on there. Um, I was never able to do any weight on a hip thrust machine because that machine in itself is heavy and now I can do 10. I really could do 20 on a good day, but I don't want to push myself <laughs> too much this time around. But yeah, um, if you realize that your routine is getting super duper easy for you, that means you need to start doing something different. So little tip right there, but yeah, y'all give me a couple of months in June. This body going to be tea. Okay. Hide your husband's hide your, hide your man. Yeah, because they're going to be looking. Because the, the gap is going to be sitting. The waist is going to be snatched. The arms are no longer going to be fluffy. Like, it's going to give. All right? So, as you can see, I just did my nails. So cute. So cute. So cute. We're going to roll the clips of the nails because it's giving iridescence. It's giving stiletto. We rocking stiletto so Y'all already know I have a thousand and one nail tutorials on my channel of how I do my press-ons with full in-depth tutorials. So feel free to browse when you have a chance, but I wanted to focus on today's set because I took these nails to the next level by adding some chrome powder. It's super easy to follow. So yeah, let's just get into the process. Be crazy, crazy, crazy.
Okay, so now that we are all up to speed, it is time for me to do my nighttime routine. Um, remember earlier I was talking to you guys about my skincare. So, yeah, girl. We gotta put this track on, okay? Because we need the skin to be puppy. So, first things first, I'm going in with the same cleanser. I really want to do a girl's check. Get ready with me. But I want y'all to ask me some questions because I really want to know what you're um intrigued about if you have any questions any burning questions that you've been wanting to ask me since watching me because also i know i have so many new subscribers go ahead and put them questions down below in the comment section but yes this is what it looks like girl this is the percentage that i have she's not too much at all i'm trying to hurry up and finish this video because my battery is dying y'all all, all in, if you know about tread you know you're only supposed to use a p size amount and it's so drying that i don't try to do any more than this ever like i probably go under the recommended amount but what i just do is put my fingers together and i just dab all around my face i try not to put too much on my nose because that's the part that dries me up the most um and then you just rub her in she's like a really dry pasty cream just follow up with my moisturizers and these are the two that i like the most of course i'm not going to put spf on at night but yeah it just depends on how i'm feeling if i want a lightweight moisturizer i do the hyaluronic acid one and if i want a heavier um moisturizer i go ahead with the la roche Posay. and you guys that is my skincare routine why you doing nothing to it which i actually really enjoy because Putting on your skincare is a lot, but I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. I know it was different, so if you enjoyed this type of tea, let me know in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, stay so tuned for the next one, okay? Bye, mama.